Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is John J Gaming on the mic here, coming at you with a brand new episode of the South Louisiana Dynasty here on Maximum Football 2020. And we have our final non conference matchup here in season one before we go into national conference play. We are taking on the Rocky Mountain Bucks, who have entered the top 25 themselves. They are undefeated so far. We're 1 and 2 to start off the season, but even though they are ranked in the top 25 so far, that being said, at least like the talent on paper, we're actually pretty similar. Rocky Mountain has a 74 overall squad, 75 offense, 73 defense, and then we also. You know, on our side, we have a 71 overall team, 73 offense, 69 defense. Nice. And it'll be really interesting to see how things play out legitimately. Now, let's see if we can go ahead and get the second top 25 win of this series just in non-conference play alone. It should be a good one, so make sure you smash that like button and also hit subscribe. If you do happen to be brand new to the channel as well, it's free and you can always unsubscribe if you're not feeling me later. But with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. Let's get it. So let's go ahead and get season number one, the last non-conference game of the season for us. At least in the regular season underway here. And this ranked Rocky Mountain squad, they're trying to be run heavy here early on, trying to smash the football on us. As they'll try to get some passing in as well. Hawkins going to be able to go ahead and make the catch for the box. It is for a gain of six. But we do at least get him to a third and four. Trying to get him off the field early. And we will do just that. Able to take out Parker's legs. And we're going to force them to punt this football away. Defense off to a very good start. Let's see if our offense can do that as well here. Is Niang going to run things out on the outside? And first play from scrimmage from this South Louisiana offense is going to go for a first down. So, so far, so good for the Saints football team. But can we pass the ball? Well, that's a different story. Going to struggle a little bit here from the get-go. Incompletion there on a second and seven. So that does mean we got to throw it here on third and long. Anderson looking to try to make a play, but is going to go ahead, run it on the outside. There was no spy on the quarterback, and that will be a first down. So now, first and ten coming up. Anderson dropping back, trying to throw towards the left-hand side, and just not a very good thrown ball as well. We might need to get ourselves a new quarterback here because that was just not a good look whatsoever especially when we have these wide open receivers that we do and we consistently miss them like we are just we're a little down bad right now you know when it comes to passing the football we might have to be a glorified triple option team if we want to sustain success you know on the offensive side of the football and even then anderson can't run it forever we do get a good run here with damian anderson he is able to go ahead pick up the first down but we will have another second and ten coming up here as Anderson drops back. Going to throw it out to the left-hand side. Gets it out to Blue. And if you recognize him from field goal attempts, that's because that is our kicker stepping in and playing a little bit of receiver for us. You know, that's how thin we are at the wide receiver position right now. Anderson going to go ahead and make a move for us. Pick up the first down. At the very least, it is a first down for South Louisiana. So now, first and goal here. Damian Anderson right on the goal line. And going to punch it in. Touchdown, Saints. And the South Louisiana football team jumps out to a 7-0 lead on the 23rd ranked team in the entire country. And to make things a little bit better, we even force a free and out on our next possession. So... Team is looking pretty good. We're getting something good. We're, our offense isn't pretty. Don't get me wrong. It is not a flashy offense like any stretch of the imaginations. But we are moving the football. And that's really the biggest thing that I care about. At the end of the day, we just got to figure out a way to complete these passes more often. As now we got second and ten here coming up here. Let's see if we can actually complete a pass. As we try to dump it off. But even that's incomplete. 
just struggling to just get on the same page. And now a third and long coming up here. We're going to have to pass this football. Let's see if somebody can get open for us. As we drop back, we face pressure up the middle of the field, and it's going to be incomplete. So that will mean we will have to go ahead, punt this football away. It is back in the hands of the number 23 team in the nation who does have an opportunity to go ahead and could try and, and tie this ball game up after we were off to a pretty good start. We did score on our first possession. But Rocky Bound will look to tie it up here. It's first and 10. Webster dropping back, trying to throw over the middle. Has Smith on the quick slant pattern. And it goes all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Bucks on the move. As now, Webster in a five-wide set. He's under shotgun. Throws it short again, but this time, we at least get our hands on the football and force the incompletion. Is now second and ten coming up here as Webster dropping back, trying to throw over the middle. We had guys there, and we force the incompletion. Way to get the ball out of his hands. Make sure that it's incomplete. And now third and long coming up. Need a, a play on defense, and we will get that as well. So that is actually going to wrap up this first quarter here, and we're looking pretty good outside of passing the football. We are up 7 0 on the 23rd ranked team in the nation. But you know what? It does feel good to be up 7 0. But I want to see if we can go ahead and try to build on this lead that we already have. And if we're going to do it, I want to do it with this running game. You know, running game, you know, is the foundation of everything that I want to do on the offensive side of the football. But at the same time, I want to go ahead and sprinkle in some play action here as Anderson. Trying to throw deep down the left hand side. We had a man, but we overthrew him. So now third and one coming up here. And look, we only need one more yard, so might as well just run it with Anderson. No problem with that whatsoever. Is now third and four coming up here as well. As Anderson tries to run on the outside with Niang, but cannot get to the edge. The linebacking core of Rocky Mountain coming up and making a play and now another first and ten coming up here is now first and ten Webster dropping bass back to pass he's looking around facing some pressure gonna try to run to the outside and manages to pick up a few yards could have done a little bit better of a job with the contain but Trevor Webster does only pick up six so now second and four now coming up here Webster dropping back. He's looking for somebody to throw this ball over to. He's going to run it downfield. He's got some space and will slide down in order to pick up the first down. And so a huge gain for this Rocky Mountain offense has them cooking with some gas. Can they build off of it? That incompletion will make it second and ten. As Webster is in the shotgun once again. Four wide set. Running back in the backfield too. Webster. Looking to the left hand side. Gets it out to Smith. Who outruns our linebacker. But thankfully we did have a little bit help. In order to limit the game to just five yards. But it is still a reasonable third down that's going on here. As Webster will drop back to pass here. Looks like on a four wide set. Running back trying to... Uh, clear some space but will go in a different direction and Smith who ends up making the catch and make the first down for Gerald Perry's second tackle as we are just having a little bit of a difficult time with this uh, short passing attack for Rocky Mountain but we will get him to a third and long at least make them go ahead and try to pass his football deep downfield as Webster will drop back here facing some pressure right away though and we left Prevost open when we tried to go ahead and send the blitz. Quarterback makes a nice read and completes the pass. So the blitz kills us a little bit there. And the drive will still continue. It's certainly a long one that the Rocky Mountain Bucks are trying to put together. As it seems like this drive is taking up the majority of this second quarter as Gerard does a really good job of reversing directions 
and because of that makes it third and short we over pursued on that right hand side running back was able to cut it back and two plays later that will end up in yet another first down for the rocky but mountain bucks and all of a sudden now this has been an extremely long drive and it's going to continue no end in sight and now it's first and goal now from the free yard line can our football team hold as Webster drops back, tries to throw to the right-hand side, but it is incomplete. So the Bucks of Rocky Mount are going to run it back here, this time third and goal from the six-yard line. Can our boys go ahead and make a stand as Webster trying to run with the football, but Webster is going to be marked down at the two-yard line. Big decision here for the Rocky Mountain Bucks as they will go ahead, take their second time out, and they will decide to go for it here. Fourth and goal from the two-yard run, and we get a stand, baby. Let's go, man. Defense stands up, does not allow a single yard. But the situation for us here, we get the stand, but we're in our own one-yard line, trying to go with a quarterback draw. And Anderson is going to give the football up so now all of a sudden it's first and goal once again after we cough up the football and so rocky mountain they get a second chance here to go ahead and get this thing into the end zone but at least for right now we will deny them but second time around they will also go for it on fourth and goal as they get it to parker and our boys make two Goal line stands back to back, call it a Drake song. And that is how the end of his first half is going to go. We are up seven to nothing on the 23rd ranked team in the entire country. Let's see if we can hold on and get our second win of the season. So here we go. S second half now officially underway here. And we're trying to go ahead and get an audible. They're trying to load up in the box here early. Not a fan of what I'm seeing. Let's see if we can attack him deep, though. It was Anderson looking around, trying to throw this ball downfield. We had a man, but we couldn't quite connect. It was one-on-one -on -one coverage. It was worth trying to take that shot. But we are behind the chains here. Second and 10, Anderson facing some pressure. Had to get rid of it. And now, all of a sudden, it's third and long. Going to try to pass it once more. Already 2 for 12 on the day. Anderson dropping back. Throwing the out route over to Reddish. Who actually makes the catch for us. That will be good for a first down. And so that will at least for the time being. Move the chains for us here. But can we complete two passes in a row. As we try to throw deep down. Field and it's incomplete as well. We had a man deep downfield, but we just could not throw it on the money. And now third and 13 here as Anderson drops back, throws to the right-hand side, gets it out to Ross on the exterior, and it is another first down for the Saints. And not only that, but we are on their side of the 50 as well as Niang going to run with the football, pick up a gain of six. So now, second and four now coming up here. And this time, you know, want to get a, the quarterback a little bit more involved in the running offense without having to call a pass play. So we will go ahead and call a little bit of a quarterback sleep for Damian Anderson, and he will end up picking up the first there for us. And that also means we get to keep it on the ground as well, and we're getting some big running holes that we get to work with as well. Another gain of five allows us to keep running the football if we wanted to. I feel like this would be a good time for playing action, though, as Anderson looking to throw towards the right-hand side, and Carlos Gad had his hands on the football, but he drops it on contact from another player. And now, third and five coming up here. Going to try to run for the first down, and Niang is going to get there. Gets across the 25-yard line. So Rocky Mountain did have a really good big drive at least a long methodical drive in the second quarter we're looking to have the same thing as it's approaching halfway through the quarter 
And we still have possession of this football. We're doing a good job of keeping our hands on it, winning this time of possession. But there was an opportunity for a touchdown right there, and we just fumbled the bag there, to be honest with you. So now, third and one coming up. Going to try to run it in with Anderson. He does pick up the first down, and as a bonus, will not fumble the football either. I like to see that. So now another first down that we get to work with. Still a methodical drive that we're really doing a nice job of putting together here. As Niang will end up picking up seven on that one. But can we throw it into the end zone? Trying to get it to Anderson. That's no good. That will be incompleted. Got a little bumped on the line of scrimmage. But that will make it third and three. We don't need a touchdown. But we knew, do need to get to this first down. Marker! And it's almost turned over again. Both of us just having some problems going ahead and trying to get the ball in the end zone. Both teams with turnovers, but we hang on to it. Anderson gets a touchdown for us. And along that drive was four minutes long. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but remember, there are seven-minute quarters in this, in this game that we have going on here. So that was more than half of the quarter. Then we got, you know, had control of the football. And best part is we even scored on the possession. So it's a two-score gain, and there's only a quarter of a half left to play right now. We certainly have these Rocky Mountain Bucks on upset alert. As we got a third and short coming up here. Webster in the shotgun. Looking to throw the football here in the five-wide set. Trying to throw it over the middle and... Oh my gosh, I was there. I was there, my guy. I was there to make a play. But of course, I played it terribly. I fumbled the bag. And Rocky Mountain will still have the football. That should have been an interception. I swear, I read it. Y'all see me read that play. But yeah, instead, it's second and five coming up here as Webster will drop back. He's looking over the middle again. And this time, we stay on our feet and... We don't get the interception, but we will at least get a pass deflection. So now, third and five coming up here once more. As Webster in the shotgun with another five wide step. Trying to run for the first down marker. But we will go ahead and deny them. And surprisingly enough, not only do they not go for it, but they also went for the field goal attempt. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that because it was a reasonable fourth down. It was like fourth and three. Um, but yeah, that is going to end the third quarter. We're up 14 to nothing. Can we hold on and get our second upset win of the season? So let's go. Fourth win or fourth quarter officially underway here. Trying to start with some passing and we almost completed pass. It was not exactly where I was trying to throw the football to, but our guy had our hands on it. Just couldn't make the play. So now, third and eight coming up here. Anderson in shotguns. Got some space to work with. Just going to go ahead and take it outside. And Anderson's going to pick up a big first down here as well. And that will take us into Rocky Mountain territory. So another touchdown potentially on the way here. As Anderson will drop back and just throw it short over to Neon on the right-hand side. He will pick up a bunch of yards Nobody really accounted for him. They were trying to play zone, a deep zone. We'll go ahead and take that check down when we can get it. Is now second and eight, trying to throw down the middle of the field. We had a man, but we just we put a little too much there. Might have been in a hospital throw per se, but you know, try had to try to make that completion. Is now third and eight. Anderson dropping back, looking to the end zone, and is going to find Davy Smalls. Touchdown, South Louisiana. And how about this? Putting the 23rd ranked team in football on notice right now. If there wasn't an upset alert for this game yet, we're going to get one right now. As we're trying to put the Rocky Mountain Bucks undefeated in this season so far. Trying to bring them Back down to earth as Garar somehow manages to find a way to pick up that first down. As now, first and ten coming up here. Webster dropping back. Going to try to throw over the middle of the field and find Smith. Two broken tackles later. 
in Rocky Mountain. Only took them till the fourth quarter. But now they are going to be on the board here. And not only that, but they will also go ahead. Go for the two-point conversion. It was fumbled. And Rocky Mountain recovers it. We had, we forced a fumble. Of course they land on it. So that's how they managed to get a two-point conversion. That's crazy. But we're still up 21-8. to eight. So if we can take care of business on this drive, have a similar drive to what we had, you know, to start this second half. We can do some nice things here. Miss Anderson going to run it once again. Another first down. And if we want to, we have a chance to go ahead and run out some clock here. But still got to play a loyal to the first down marker. That is going to be incomplete. So another third and long that we have to deal with. Again, just the passing attack that we have certainly struggled with thus far. Um, it is where we're currently at right now. And. I mean, if we want to go ahead and try to run out this clock, we have to pick up this first down. And that's, that simply didn't happen. That's not, you know, what ended up going our way. So we have to go ahead and punt this football away. And listen, Rocky Mountain still has both of its timeouts. So things could still get a little bit interesting out here. It's, this game is far from over, especially if they can get a quick score and force another defensive stop. So let's see if they can do it here. Less than three minutes left. They get some good field position off of the punt return. Let's see what Rocky Mountain decides to do here as Webster will drop back here on a second and eight. We send the blitz and Prevost is open over the middle for a gain of seven. That clock is still going to be ticking. Trying to save those free timeouts as long as possible as Webster. Dropping back once again on a third and one. No, actually going to hand it off. And Garrar picks up the first down, but perfectly okay with that at the same time, though, because, listen, we're up by two scores still. We don't need to be freaking out all that much. Is now another first and ten. Webster trying to throw over the right-hand side. Gets it out to Parker. It's a foot race, and... Ramsey does end up bringing him down, but it's a big gain for the Rocky Mountain Bucks. They're certainly in business now. As here we go, third and long here, a few plays later. Gonna try to chuck this towards the end zone, I imagine, as Webster looking around, trying to find somebody to get open, throws it over the middle and finds Hawkins. Not for the end zone, but it is a big gain, and it also moves the chains as well, but... Rocky Mountain really starting to go ahead and run out some time. This actually might be their last play. If they don't hurry up, they get it off before the buzzer, and they don't even score. So that's how this thing is going to end. Rocky Mountain really did its best to try to go ahead and make things interesting, but we will end up winning this game by a final score of 21-8. And passing was a little bit better. We had twice as many completions as the last time out. But still, 6 for 27 could be improved upon. Only 100 yards passing. We did a really good job with running the football, though. Ended up with 213 yards on the ground. Did lose the time possession. Meanwhile, the Rocky Mountain Bucks, they will fall to 3-1 here in the first season of the South Louisiana Dynasty. And, you know, they did a much better job passing the ball. 14 for 25, 237 yards. Rushing was 28 carries for 115 yards as well. But, you know, we kind of had this bend, don't break mentality for the most part. You know, we allowed them to get some yards for sure. But at the same time, though, we did force them out of the end zone. And that gives us our second win here in this dynasty. You'll love to see it. So we get back from our road game against Rocky Mountain. And we do see that we got our second commit of this season already alvin hooper who is a free star prospect from longville louisiana he is going to sign with the south louisiana saints and i am excited for this kid overall man he you know six foot three 260 pounds so he has the size if he wants to to go ahead and transfer down you know to that defensive line but he also has 4.85 speed, you know, which is definitely not bad for a linebacker whatsoever. I like to see that he could be a versatile player 
for our defense. But gearing up for our next matchup on deck, and we actually are going to be going ahead and starting off conference play in our next episode. We will take on the Dallas Roosters, and Dallas is a team that just got their first win of the season the same time that we are playing up against Rocky Mountain. They beat the Perora Fighting Foxes by a final score of 20 to 16, so that's their first win of the season. Good news for us, though, is that this is a home game. Let's see if we can win our first home game. We are 2-0 against top 25 opponents, but we are 0-2 against teams outside of the top 25 right now. So, that being said, let's hope that we can go ahead and get some things figured out so that we can get our first winning streak of this dynasty going. But either way, though, it should be a really good one, and I am really excited for it. If you're really excited about it as well, I need you guys to go ahead and do me a favor. Smash that like button for me, and then on top of that, if you want to hit that subscribe button as well, if you have to be brand new, I would truly appreciate that. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you're not feeling me at a later time. With that being said, this is John Jake signing off. Hope you all have a good one. Take care, y'all.